It is an honor and a joy to thank Stuart Weitzman. He's a beloved friend and an exceptional university citizen, and he has helped us bring this wonderful space to life. We're really grateful for the support of Stuart Weitzman. He enabled us to transform the school, and the Weitzman Plaza is just part of that overall transformation. Suddenly, uh, with this particular wonderful donor, Stuart, and with this particular wonderful dean, the landscape jumped up in the line, and the building's important, but so is the landscape. Landscape, the outdoor space between the buildings on a university, it belongs to everybody, and everybody experiences it. It's what they all have in common. The University of Pennsylvania campus is probably one of the most beautiful urban campuses anywhere. It's beautiful because of its landscape, and it's, it's a design landscape. One of the things we decided we wanted to do is to open the campus up to the city. But one of the things that hadn't quite got done was the area between Meyerson Hall and the Furness the Fine Arts Library. Before this intervention, there was a wall, and the wall is a legacy of the 1960s and 1970s when universities built walls around their campuses to keep people out. You know, the campus is up here, you know. <laughs> and, and so the, the whole idea of blowing it open and being able to link the three buildings across the street where Fine Arts and, and our design school and then Furness and Meyerson, to link those buildings together with this space. One of the early ideas that started to emerge is, you know, the, the large stairs that lead you down to 34th Street. And that sort of connection became really pivotal to making this almost like urban amphitheater. We started asking ourselves like, well, what if we planted within that stair and actually made this not only a, a journey through, but actually a place that you want to stay. When Meyerson Hall was built in 1967, there were protests because all of these yellowwood trees were being torn down. So Lori thought it was only fitting to add some yellowwood trees to the plaza as a homage to the yellowwood trees of the past. Learning the context and knowing it as much as possible is important to keep an authentic attitude as designers to create new work for the people who live around the projects. We decided to make some things just, I call it plain vanilla, but it's brick actually. <laughs> and then the other things are, it's wood. It's not that students are like monkeys, but they will sit in any direction. <laughs> they, they will flop back, they will come down, they will go over this way. The benches that are on the upper plaza kind of feel like they wrap down and around and really create this more modern aesthetic. For decades, many people in America have thought that gardens and the public landscape were ornaments. They thought they were add-ons and extras and a surcharge and something you did if everything else was under control. I think COVID has proven something that we knew beforehand, and that is how essential they are. The quality of our park space, the quality of our public realm is so tied to so much about our well-being. These places are really relied on to be a place for social connection, but also to perform for water management and habitat creation. The plaza symbolizes much of what we do in the Weitzman School. It shows city planners how an institution can better relate to its community. And of course, it highlights the buildings and the art that are in and around the plaza. It's really beautiful when you finish a space like Weitzman Plaza and you just are out there on a nice day and you just sit back and you see people using the space. And they're not thinking about design, they're not thinking about the permit process, they're just living life in an urban open space. And it's beautiful.